we're going to evaluate the integral of natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. And we're going to use both integration by parts as well as partial fraction to do it. So we'll call the original integral the integral of u dv. It means that u must be the natural log part, natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. And dv must be the rest, which is just 1 times dx. So du equals the derivative of natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. That's x squared minus x plus 2 in the denominator and 2x minus 1 in the numerator. And v must be x. So this is equal to u times v x times natural log of x squared minus x plus 2 minus the integral of v du that's 2x squared minus x divided by x squared minus x plus 2. Now this integral that's left that's on the right that we have to still evaluate is a lot different than the integral on the left which is the integral of natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. This integral on the right is an integral of a rational function whose degree in the numerator polynomial has degree 2 in the numerator and also degree 2 in the denominator. Remember that we have to perform long division first so we'll take the polynomial in the numerator 2x squared minus x and divided by polynomial in the denominator x squared minus x plus 2 that gives us a 2. This is 2x squared minus 2x plus 4 and we subtract the second line from the first and that is x minus 4 which is our remainder and so the polynomial 2x squared minus x in the numerator divided by polynomial x squared minus x plus 2 which formed this rational function is equal to 2 plus x minus 4 over x squared minus x plus 2 and we're going to take this and replace this integral with it right here. Let's rewrite, go back to the problem. The problem was the integral of natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. It was equal to x times natural log of x squared minus x plus 2 minus the integral of 2x squared minus x over x squared minus x plus 2 which can now be expressed as x times the natural log of x squared minus x plus 2 minus the integral of 2 dx plus the integral of x minus 4 divided by x squared minus x plus 2 dx. Well the first of these is just 2x so we have x natural log x squared minus x plus 2 minus 2x minus the integral of x minus 4 over x squared minus x plus 2. So this now is what we have left. Again, an integral of a rational function, but now the degree in the denominator is strictly larger than the degree in the numerator. However, the polynomial x squared minus x plus 2 is irreducible. So you should check that. It cannot be factored. So we can't write it as a product of two linear terms. What then we have to do is we have to use substitution first. I'll put this integral right here. The integral x minus 4 divided by x squared minus x plus 2. If I use the substitution, let w be the denominator, x squared minus x plus 2, dw is equal to 2x minus 1 dx. So 1 half dw is going to be x minus 1 half dx. Now when we look at the numerator, we have x minus 4 instead of x minus 1 half. If we had x minus 1 half, that would be perfect, but we don't. So what do we do? Well, we have to modify the numerator like this, x minus 4 minus half plus half divided by x squared minus x plus 2. So it didn't change anything. Now we'll take the x minus 1 half and we write it as one integral. So x minus 1 half divided by x squared minus x plus 2. And then we have minus 4 plus 1 half. That's minus 7 halves 
times the integral of 1 divided by x squared minus x plus 2. Well, this first integral with this substitution becomes 1 half integral of dw over w, which is 1 half natural log of absolute value of w, and that's 1 half ln of absolute value of x squared minus x plus 2. But because x squared minus x plus 2 is an irreducible quadratic polynomial is always positive. There is no way, no value of x that could ever make it 0 or negative. So we don't need absolute value. We can just write it as 1 half natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. So once again, let's go back to the original problem. The original problem was the integral of ln of x squared minus x plus 2. Here's what we have so far. We have that's equal to x times ln of x squared minus x plus 2. And then we had a minus 2x. So the minus 2x part. And then we have now part of the remaining integral, which is minus 1 half natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. And then minus the remaining part, which was 7 halves, so this will be plus 7 halves times the integral of 1 divided by x squared minus x plus 2. So that is the integral that we have to evaluate. The remaining integral that we have to evaluate is the integral of 1 over x squared plus x minus 2. Let's do that. I'll leave the 7 halves alone. We'll come back to it later. We want to evaluate the integral of 1 divided by x squared minus x plus 2. And the way we're going to do that is to complete the square in the denominator. So this is 1 divided by x squared minus x plus 1 fourth minus 1 fourth and plus 2. So again, I didn't change anything in the denominator. just added a fourth and subtracted a fourth. This is now a perfect square. So this is equal to the integral of 1 divided by x minus 1 half squared plus 2 minus 1 fourth is 7 over 4. Now this is an integral of the type 1 divided by x minus a squared plus b dx. So this integral for any value of b that's not 0 will be 1 over square root of b times inverse tangent of x minus a over square root of b. So here a is equal to 1 half and b is uh, 7 over 4. So this integral will be 1 divided by square root of 7 over 4 times the inverse tangent of x minus 1 half divided by the square root of 7 over 4. And let's simplify this. This is 1 over square root of 7 over 2 times the inverse tangent of x minus 1 half divided by square root of 7 over 2, which is equal to 2 over square root of 7 times the inverse tangent of 2x minus 1 over square root of 7. So we're almost done. Let's go back to the original integral. The original integral, remember, was the integral of the natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. And this is what we have so far. We have x ln of x squared minus x plus 2 minus 2x. And then we had minus 1 half natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. Now we had plus 7 halves times the integral that we just got, which is 2 over square root of 7 times the inverse tangent of 2x minus 1 over square root of 7. We can now add c to it. And let's simplify this just a little bit. We have the final answer is x times the natural log of x squared minus x plus 2 minus 2x minus 1 half natural log of x squared minus x plus 2. 
and then here the twos cancel 7 over square root of 7 is square root of 7 so this is plus the last piece is square root of 7 times inverse tangent of 2x minus 1 over the square root of 7 plus c and that's the final answer for more videos visit www.math prep videos dot com